lab term file system investigation today we are going to uh, practice how to investigate uh, popular operating file system for example fred fred c2 ntfs ext4 minix on windows using a slow skit and we are going to uh, have a feeling about this tool slow skit and you will learn more in ids uh, 452 digital forensics in that class, we also learn all the details of all these uh, file systems. And uh, in this class, 330, we just uh, have a feeling about these tools and these uh, file systems. Totally, we have uh, four subtasks, and uh, the main task is uh, task subtask four. We will practice all these commands provided by these uh, slow skit uh, commands. You can open a new tab to see the introduction of these uh, commands. They are organized into s several uh, categories. The fully automated tools we will not uh, practice today. We mainly practice uh, the tools from these categories, for example, file system layer tools, FS state, it shows the file system details and statistics, including layout, sizes, and labels, and so on. And we will practice through the image file tools, volume system tools, then file system tools, and uh, metadata layer tools data unit layer tools, we pr practice some of them. And you can find a more uh, explanation about these tools, for example, the I state, you can right click to see its uh, online help document. You can go through the website, but I think uh, some brief help can be uh, got from the command line. This is a task we are, tasks we are going to complete today. And for the review questions, I think maybe we let's complete the review questions first. We have three uh, review questions. The first review question is just uh, read and uh, write describes the index allocation or disk space. So you can refer to the online article or refer to the operating system concepts, the ninth edition chapter 12, or this uh, tenth edition chapter 14. The ninth edition and tenth edition, the majority are identical. So the organization are changed a little bit Your question two, consider a file system that uses inodes to represent the files and a disk box or uh, eight kilobytes in size and a pointer to a disk box requires four bytes. We have discussed these two questions during the lecture. So now let's uh, solve these two questions. The file system has 12 direct disk blocks as well as a single, double, triple, indirect disk box. So it asks you what's the maximum size of a file that can be stored in this file system. For references, you can check these uh, the textbooks. So then, now let's uh, do it uh, in Python. The advanced calculator we use it a lot in this uh, class, right? Here to say is a disk box uh, 8 uh, kilobytes. So we can say a uh, block size, BS, equals is 8 kilobytes, is 8 times 1 kilobytes, 1024 bytes. Right? These are block size. Now the point size. Yes, 
equals uh, 4 bytes. And the file system has 12 direct disk blocks. So what does it mean? It means those uh, direct disk blocks used to save data. Right? So it's uh, 12 blocks, and each block is uh, 8 kilobytes. So it's uh, 12 times 8 kilobytes. So 8 kilobytes is 8 times 1024. Maybe uh, to uh, okay, let's uh, write it this way. Now, a single indirect disk uh, block, which means uh, it has a index block. Here it says uh, as well single, double, triple, indirect disk blocks. It didn't say how many. How many single uh, indirect disk blocks? So by default, we, we just take one. And uh, single indirect disk blocks, we need to find how many pointers do we have. Right? The number of pointers for each block so we can uh, calculate this number of pointers for each block. It will equals the block size divided by the point size. Right? This is a number of pointers in each uh, index bro block. So you will, you will see number of pointers is 2048. Now, we can calculate just summation all the data blocks. First, we have 12 direct disk blocks times the size of each block times 8 times uh, 1024, then plus a single indirect disk block, which means we have uh, a single index block times the number of pointers MP. Then times now each pointer it point to a data block, so which means it need to times the data block size. So to make it more readable, we all use BS here. BS means the block size, right? Data block size. We have twelve direct disk blocks. Then one single indirect disk block. So it will use the one times the number of pointers for that uh, indirect indirect uh, block or index block. And each pointer point to a data block. So we times BS. Right? Each pointer point to a data block. And that data block will use to save data. So we times BS. Then we plus double indirect Disk blocks, which means we have two layers of uh, index blocks. So it will equals one times MP times MP two layers of index blocks, then times BS, right? And then we also have one triple indirect disk uh, blocks, is so one times. MP times MP times MP, then times BS. So we can uh, use a variable to, to say the max file size equals this one. Then you can print out the max maximum file size the file system can save. The size is uh, this number. Let's compare with the supplied uh, reference answer. Here we have a unit in KB. KB is a kilobyte, right? Here, what's the number I used here? Or what's the unit? The unit I used here is a 
is a byte, right? Here, BIS is 8 kilobytes, 8 times 1024. Now, if we want to uh, turn to a kilobyte, you would equals MF divided by 1024. So we get this uh, 687548 kilobyte. And this kilobyte, if you are asked to convert to megabyte, gigabyte, or terabyte, you can do it uh, with the online unit converter or just uh, divide by 1024 again and again. Divide by 1024, this is a uh, megabyte. So we have so many megabytes. Divide by 1024, we get a gigabyte. So we have so many gigabytes. Divide by 1024, we get a terabyte. So 64 terabyte. So this is the largest file this file system can save. Question 3. How many megabytes does a terabyte, dis terabyte disk with 4 kilobyte blocks? It means uh, each block, its size is 4 kilobytes. So, how many megabytes are required to store its bitmap? For a bitmap, we know each bit represents a block, right? So it uh, just asks us how many blocks we have on this one terabyte disk. So we can uh, run, say uh, the disk size, DS, the disk size equals one terabyte. The terabyte, if we convert to gigabyte, we need to times 1024. Then from gigabyte to uh, megabyte, we times 1024 again, then convert to a uh, Kilobyte times one zero two four. Right? From kilobyte, megabyte, so gigabyte, then to a terabyte, one terabyte. Here we convert to a kilobyte, right? One terabyte equals 1024 gigabyte, then times 1024 we, we got uh, megabytes, times 1024 we got a kilobyte. So we can use online unit converter, here we just do it uh, manually. And the block size here, this block size, BS equals uh, 4 kilobytes, here we use a unit KB. Now, how many uh, bits do we have? It just adds you how many blocks do we have. Right? So the number of bits, MBS. Number of bits. Use DS divided by BS. Then the number of bits, we need so many bits to save the bitmap. Bit map. Now we convert the bit to byte. We know one byte equals eight. Uh, bits, right? Divided by 8 is converted to bytes, so we have so many bytes. Then we convert it to uh, kilobytes divided by 1024. We have so many kilobytes. To convert to uh, megabytes divided by 1024 again, we have 32 megabytes. So this is uh, question 3. How do we do the calculation? And you can check this uh, answer, 32 uh, megabytes, as the unit is required here, how many uh, MB megabytes. OK, we completed these uh, review questions first. Now let's go through the practice tasks. First, download this source kit. Open here. Go to uh, download the source kit is open source, so we download the Windows binary. Okay, it's done. Showing folder. Source kit is here. I would like to Ctrl X, cut it, 
go to local disks. You create a folder tools. Here you see the tools they have some other stuff put here. I would like to save it here. Paste it here. Slow kit, paste here. We can open with a 7-zip to have a look. It's uh, contained in a single folder. So we can uh, extract here. So this is the slow skit I would like to uh, now open it. The bin folder, you see uh, the dynamic link libraries and the commands, exe files. There's a download and extraction. The second tab, uh, second step, add the bin folder of this slow skit to the system environment available path. And what if the source kit commands can be executed anywhere from a uh, command problem or PowerShell? Okay, this is the bin folder. Just copy it. Then to add it to the path system variables, so just type in where. So you see the editor system environment variables, right? Here, environment variables. Come to here, the system variables. There's a path. Here, you can add them here. So, just a new one, create a new one. Ctrl V, paste here. Press Enter, it's done. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Now it's done. We want to go to the our course home folder address. Recently, create a folder called create a lab term. Lab term. Now, from lab term, let's have a try to run these commands. We need to uh, open a command window. Right? Here, we first we can you can uh, press your shift key, right click, then open this uh, PowerShell window here. A PowerShell window. In order to run those commands, for example, let's run the first one, mm ls, and you see it show up. We can run it, right? and it tell you how to use this uh, mm ls command. Just try, for example, try two of them: blk cat. Right? See the blk cat. The Precise uh, usage or help is printed out. Now, how do we open a, a command prompt? There are two ways. The first way you just uh, from this uh, PowerShell type CMD. Here you see we are now we are inside command prompt. Did you know? Notice the the difference here. There is no PS at the beginning. Right? If you are in PowerShell, you see there is a PS at the beginning of the prompt. If you are inside command prompt, there is no PS. Right now we type uh, as an MMLS. Right? Again, we see the same output. The other way you type command command prompt from here, then you you type mmls. Right? We can run this this uh, slow skill commands from anywhere on this system. Okay, now we go to the photo we created today. Can you see? Or you just copy it to make it more uh, demonstrative. Type CD, right click here, press enter. Now you type DLR, currently uh, my folder lab 10 is empty. Okay, we've done step two. Step three, download this archive. HD.7z is an uh, example of hard disk image. 
And in IDS uh, 452, you will learn how to create disk image. Here, this disk image is provided. We need to open a new tab. You cannot, uh, please don't use uh, save as. If you use save as, you will save link as. You will get a problem. It's not the file we, we download. We will get a HTML file. So come here to click download. Now it's uh, downloaded. I would like to uh, cut it. Cut and paste to the folder I created today. Paste here. Then extract is here. You see the size is only 12 megabytes. But when you extract here, you will see it has a one gigabyte, one gigabytes. Right, this is a hard disk image. Okay, now we are done. Step three. Now for step four, we use these commands to investigate the file system on this HDI image. We will go through the command for this order. The first one, MMLS, is used to display the lay partition layout of a volume system on the partition tables. So we can use a MMLS for the dash I image type dash B device sector size dash O image offset and so on. There are lots of parameters uh, we can specify. Or we use the default value. The image type, how do you see what the image type? You can use this uh, dash i list to see the image type it is, support, it is supported or the volume type it is supported. Use this dash t list. So we can have a look dash uh, i list. So you see the support raw, ewf, vm, dk, vhd, VHD you have practiced in ITS-135 and this door is the one I provided and the other two, this VMDK you use a virtual machine you, you know VMDK and this EWF you will learn in ITS-452 now let's check the the next one Volume system it su supports dash t list. So we can use a dash t list to have a look. Here dash t list, you see the partition types: DOS partition table, MAC partition map, BSD disk label, GID partition table. I think you at least heard about this here GPT and this DOS, right? If you use a MacBook, you know this one. If you use a BSD Linux, you know this one. If you use Solaris, you know this one. Don't worry about if uh, you, you don't know these things because we will learn all the details in IDS uh, 452 Digital Forensics. Here, just uh, have a uh, a feeling about this stuff. Partition type or the partition table. Now we can uh, follow this uh, command to specify the parameters. MMLS, the first parameter, the dash i, and uh, maybe I, I type uh, help to put it here. MMLS dash i image type is raw dash b block size is file one two by default the disk uh, set size is uh, five hundred twelve bytes the image offset from zero so we don't specify it that uh, b print the laundry length in bytes b or 
request and look for other partition tapes and the partition is DOS only and uh, we verbose output uh, whoops enable whoops output I'll just, just uh, ignore them and then dash a show allocated volumes uh, allocated volumes metadata volumes so how about we want to show all of them a a m m right show all of them then dash t type we can let it uh, detect automatically but uh, the type I used is uh, GPT so we can specify it then is the image or images you can uh, use this command to apply on several images here we just apply on the single image we have the HD dot image right? okay now you see uh, all the information and some uh, error outputs Here, yeah. where we start, we start from uh, this place. Right? You see the image found, one total segment found, the size, and a uh, max offset. Here, the size is uh, used in bytes. GPT table. GPT load table is saved on sector 1. And some uh, GPT load, you see the GPT entries. And uh, we will learn all this stuff in uh, IDS 452. Learn all the details. Currently, you just know uh, what you will get. You get GPT entries, you scroll down, you, you will see in this class we focus on uh, the partitions found. Partition table is a GID partition table. Offset start from sector 0. Units 512 byte sectors. Uh, each sector is uh, 512 bytes. Now you see the slots and this uh, you can consider these uh, partitions, right? See the first partition is unallocated is uh, we have so many uh, blocks here or uh, sectors. The unit of this uh, start end and the length is a block. Here 2047 block and the total is uh, 2048 blocks. Now you check the file system FAT16, FAT32, NTFS, EXT4, Swap, Linux, and uh, we have two unallocated portion. Right? And we have so many uh, file system created on this image. If you want to suppress those uh, error outputs, uh, you, you can use uh, a syntax like this. To know. Not anything to know, it's a uh, two to know. Two means a uh, standard error. One is standard output, zero standard input. Here you will only see the the output. Other information, they are standard error informations. So this is what we need. Now the second command. MM state display details about the volume systems. So MM state. Again first Let's see how to use this mm state. mm state. Here it uh, is used is like this. We can uh, specify vs tab. Now that vs tab, this dash t, 
the image type we already know it. That uh, this one volume type we also know it right from MMLS. So let's have a look. Use this MM state dash i. The image type is raw. Dash b block size is 512 uh, bytes. Dash o we don't specify this. Dash o dash v verbose output. Dash t the VS type is a GPT volume system type. Now followed by the image HD image. Again, we want to surprise those error output. We only get a GPT. It only shows the, the table is a GPT. It is used to show the table information. We didn't get get uh, much information from this command. Right? Now, mmcat output the contents of partition to standard out. So which means we can extract a set, uh, partition and output in the standard output. But it will, because it, uh, the size is huge, it will scroll down fast and quickly. So we may save it in a file. So mmcat, have a look how to use it. Here again, we can specify these things. Here, there is a port number. Now, for the port number, is this number or the slot number? We can have a try, right? mm cat dash i, the image type is raw, dash b, block size is 512, dash uh, we omit that one dash v verbose output dash t gpt image hd dot mg and the port number port number we have uh, one four five six seven all these port numbers all these slots of port numbers I don't know so we can have a try try zero one two three four five and this they have uh, file systems, uh, others are unallocated. So if we try zero, to have a look. As uh, we just discussed, it will output lots of stuff. Again, we surprised the uh, error. If I press uh, enter, it will scroll first. So we use uh, another command, a pipeline to a um, command called more to show it screen by screen. This bar means a uh, pipeline, and you you will learn more in uh, ITS three seventy two. So I press enter. Here I didn't see uh, anything uh, output here, but you can see that it's uh, scroll down. Let's type Q to quit. First, let's have a try. Just let, let it uh, scroll down to see what we get. Here you see uh, we get, get something like this, right? But we don't know what, what it is. So if we use a uh, section uh, 1, partition 1, to see what we get. Now you see we get lots of stuff, we keep scrolling. The problem is, I don't know that uh, uh, partition number, which one is that partition number, we can uh, have several choice. How do we try it? First bring up that uh, This information, so we'd better save all this information. Let's say we save this uh, into a text file. Quite partitions. .txt. Then we can open it here partitions .txt and see it clearly here.
Now, for those uh, partitions, we can use uh, mmcat right? partitions from 0 to a uh, file, or we use a 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's from 0. Zero to have a look what we get. No, we we can save it. We quite P zero. Then for the second one, one we save it to P one. Two save it to P two. Three save it to P three. Four saved to P four. File saved to P file. How about we try a six to see what we get? Maybe we have a look first. Try a six to have a look. You see, we still have stuff, right? We can Cogent C to stop it. So we can try 6 to save it to P6. Six save to P6. Seven save it to P7. Eight nine and a ton Now we can use DIR to sh show all these files. You can see the file size. Here, P0 is just 512 bytes. P2 is 512 bytes. So it looks like this P, P0 and uh, P2 and P they are not. So it looks like the partition number is this uh, list, this uh, column, the first column of partition numbers. Right? P0 file. 512, we didn't see any uh, thing here is 512 uh, bytes for one block. And for others, for P1, you can see this P1 uh, here is 2048 blocks. Now, how do we convert the bytes to blocks? Here is the bytes, right? Each block here, each sector is 512 bytes. So we can convert this one to have, have a look. So we use uh, IPython. We know the block size, or uh, the sect size, SS, equals 512. And uh, the P1 size is uh, 1048 then you can use P1 divide by SS. You get 2048. So we confirm the first column number of the partition numbers. And we get P1, P2. That P2, you see there is no 2 here. Right? And 3, there is no 3 here. 4, you have uh, 4 here. Okay, this is how do you extract a uh, partition from a disk image using this mm cat. Then we can use this uh, fs state to display general details of our file system. So we use uh, fs state first to see how to use it. 
fs oops uh, type uh, i have a typo here fs state now you see uh, how to use it again we can follow these parameters one by one dash t display type only dash v verb output we can use a dash i list to see the we, we want to know the image type, right? The image type, file system type, and this is a port type, port container type. These are two new things we may have a try to have a look. fs state dash f list. Now you see the su supports these file systems. ext24 Two, three, four, UFS one, two, NTFS, FAT. What is the NTFS? Do you see a uh, NTFS here? Here, the first one. What? First one, NTFS and a FAT. Okay, now uh, we can have a try. Uh, we still have another one, dash p list to see the the poor container it supports. Dash p list, and you see the container here, and we will learn other containers uh, in ideas for file two. Okay, now let's uh, use it to check the file system on these uh, partitions we have, right? these partitions. For example, this uh, P4 is a FAT16. So how do we use it? We use FS state dash V. Now the FS type file system type we can let it detect automatically what we specify it let's specify it fat 16 right, we know the p4 fat 16 and uh, dash i image type is raw dash b search size 512 bytes Dash O image offset just zero. Then for the image we want to check P four, right? Position four. Oops, uh, I forgot to uh, suppress those uh, error output. Here we suppress the error message. Then you will see a clear output from this uh, part from this uh, command. Here you see the file system information, file system type FAT16, OEM name is created by this uh, program, mkfs.fat, volume ID, volume label, and you will see the file system layout here in sectors from 0 to this uh, sector result, from 0 to 1, both sectors except 0. We have two FAT tables. Data area here, root directory here, cluster area is this range. Metadata information here, root directory to sect size, cluster size. Now you see the cluster size is uh, four sectors, right? It's four sectors. And the total cluster uh, range. Here's the fat table, you see the fat table here. In sectors, all, all these details you will learn in IDS for four, uh, four fifty two. Here, just uh, have have a uh, feeling about the file system. So you can uh, try on other partitions. For example, uh, this ext four or that ntfs. Actually, we can have a try. For example, that uh, ntfs is uh, this uh, 
P6, right? So it's a P6. But under oops, P6, it looks like it's uh, we didn't save that P6. This P6 with DRR is not this. Uh, here is P6, is this one. So when I try P6, because P6, the file type is NTFS. I need to specify uh, NTFS. Then you will get the file system information or NTFS. You see the metadata information, content information, and uh, overview about the file system information. Type NTFS, volume serial number, IM name, volume name, version, and so on. So if you don't understand the, what's the MFT, don't worry about that. We will go through all the details in Digital Forensics. Now for FLS list file and directory names in a disk image. FLS So you see the options for this uh, FLS. So we want to see that uh, partition, let's use that uh, file 16 partition. That file 16 is so my file 16 Before, right? this is my file 16. We can save it, save the file system information. So we saved as FS4. txt. Then you can open that FS4. txt. Here you see we saved the, the output here. So we will use this uh, FAT16 because I saved some files on this FAT16. I think I also saved some files uh, on other uh, partitions. So we use uh, FLS on this uh, P4. So how do we use it? We need to specify this uh, switches FLS if I don't specify anything just uh, not like this P4 FLS P4 and uh, suppress the L output to see what I got now you see it can detect automatically to find uh, some photos here do you see the photos here D means directory folders. Or uh, here regular files. And uh, in digital forensic we will delve into the details of these things. So here you can see it can be used to uh, find the files and folders. For that uh, P6 you can also have a look. For P6, it can also detect automatically to find something. You see the folder, program files, user, winnt.txe, windows, and so on. Now for that ILS, list I note information. So you can use the ILS, followed by P4, surprise the arrow, as under, you see the node information. Here we didn't see uh, much information. How about that P6? Here for P6, we see uh, much more. Why in this case we didn't see uh, much information? 
and we will learn in uh, digital forensics. Here, this uh, iCAT use output the contents of a file based on its uh, inode number. Here you see uh, these are the I inode numbers, for example, from 16 to 23. Now we can have a look at how to use that uh, iCAT. Here this iCAT will specify the I number at the as the last parameter. So we can use this iCAT followed by for other parameters we, we just use default uh, values. The image, uh, for example, this uh, P6 and the I number we use this uh, 16 for the 16 to have a try. Then we suppress the error message to have a look what we get. Well, we didn't get uh, anything from this one. It looks like it's, uh, it's empty. I create lots of empty files. Okay, this is the uh, iCAT and uh, you will learn more. Here just have a, a try to see whether you can get some interesting information. No, I didn't get, get anything here. Now for the BLK LS used to list or output of file system data units. BLK LS Again, you see a uh, lot of parameters. I use BLK, LIS. I use the uh, default values for those parameters and specify the image. Here, the image I use a uh, P4. Again, suppress the arrows. Oops, can you see? Now you see a uh, BLK LIS. There are lots of output. And uh, because some are not uh, printable, that's why we, we cannot see anything here. Okay, you can uh, try other partitions and, and have a look to see what you can get. The BLK state display details of the file system data unit. BLK state. Again, I would like to use the default values for those parameters. Here you see we supply an image and an address. So, what that address? Usually here, if you want to get more, you uh, go go its online uh, manuals to have a look. Here, let's uh, just try the simplest situation. P four, then followed by uh, address um, zero. We get second zero, and it's. Uh, Allocated, so that address is the second number. And one, it says second one allocated contains the matter information. One hundred, still metadata information. That P four, you can check other second number to see what you get. Block cat is used to output. Contents of a block. BLK cat. Again, I would like to use uh, the simplest format. BLK cat. The image, for example, P4. 
then the unit address try zero first you will see some uh, unreadable and readable stuff this is a sect zero contents you see the sect zero contents some are unprintable some are printable and you and we can identify some of them right? file 16 this is not a bootable disk please insert a bootable Blob disk and press any key to try again. So this is a sect zero or this uh, P4 image. A partition when we save it, it was a quite an image. A disk drive we, we save it, it was a quite an image. Maybe we quite a partition image to make it more, make it a clearer. All right, these other commands you can try. Uh, the, these commands on with the various uh, parameters to see what you get.